Hi dear cricket fans, subscribers and friends of Cricket Happenings. Your host Ram is once again back. This time it is the preview of the India vs Australia one day series which is going to be starting tomorrow at Cochin. The first one day international of the, five, of the three match series. Well, India would be the ones who would be going with a lot of confidence after swamping the Aussies 2-0. Uh, well, for, but one thing I need to tell here, uh, both the teams uh, don't have their full strength teams. If you look at India, there's no Virendra Sehwag, there is no uh, Gautam Gambi, there is no Sachin Tendulkar. It's a young breed of players, Murli Vijay, Shikhar Divan, Suresh Raina, Yuvraj Singh, could be uh, be making back into the one-day cricket. Um, MS Dhoni would be leading the side, but let me tell you, this is an young side. Uh, so the reserve talent is in going to be in full measure. And as far as the bowling is concerned, there is no Zahir Khan. It would be Praveen Kumar, Ashish Nehra, and Munaf Patel. So no Ishan Sharma, no Zahir Khan. As far as Australia is concerned, a similar thing. So almost I would say even Stevens right now, because Australia don't have Ricky Ponting in the side, there's no Ricky Ponting, there's no Shane Watson. So, well, you can just imagine there's no Dougie Bollinger because of injury. And, well, it's almost, as I said, even Stevens. As far as India is concerned, India going with a lot of confidence, there's no doubt about that. Uh, led by Mahendra Singh Dhoni, the captain, one of the victorious captains ever for India, I would say. And, well, so the, the first of the one day national, but one thing, dear cricket fans, one has to understand here, whether we are going to have a, a, a real uh, a start uh, a start of the first one day series or not that is going to be in question because rain is threatening the match unfortunately dear cricket fans but hope the rain stays away and we have a very good game of one day cricket tomorrow at Kochi well as far as India is concerned uh, the openers are going to be Murli Vijay who is in some very good form coming on his debut century in the test match and Shikhar Divan after making some very good impression uh, for the Mumbai Indians in the IPL has finally made the cut. He is into the one-day scheme of things. He got an opportunity before, I do remember, but he couldn't really, really turn it on. But this is the opportunity, Shikhar Devan. You have to take it and take it and turn it. That's what Shikhar Devan has to do. Well, Suresh Raina, another wonderful one-day player, already established, cemented his place now in the Test Match Arena. Uh, and well, he is the one, uh, he is, uh, well, he's a vital cog uh, in India's one day scheme of things. Yuvraj Singh makes his comeback into the Indian team after quite a long time now into one day cricket. Uh, he has to really do something extraordinary. Well, uh, I'm told uh, he scored a double century uh, against, uh, uh, if I'm not wrong, it was in the Irani Trophy. Well, though that is what Yuvraj Singh needs to really, really. Uh, he nearly, nearly per needs to perform now at this, in this one-day international series. Uh, and he always loves the Aussies, Yuvraj Singh. Uh, and then we have Virat Kohli or Rohit Sharma, whoever is going to play, whether it is going to be Virat Kohli. Looking at the uh, performances that have been going on, I would rather plump for Virat Kohli uh, for this one-day international because he has been doing well in the Champions League. Uh, he did well in the IPL too. And well... Uh, well, dear cricket fans, uh, I would be very, very uh, happy if uh, uh, Saurabh Tiwari could actually make make it to the team because Saurabh Tiwari, uh, I'm, let me tell you, he packs a punch. Uh, he has been scoring very, very heavily uh, in the IPL, as you know, uh, amassed 400 runs uh, in the third IPL season. And, well, he has been looking in peak form. And I was really wondering that, you know, he's not finding a team. But this is the time for India to really build up for the 2011 World Cup. Dhoni has shown a lot of confidence now on, uh, uh, on uh, Saurabh Tiwari. And he also hails from the same state, Jharkhand. So, well, if Saurabh Tiwari could come in, he's a real basher, I would say. The way he hits the ball, oh, it's, uh, it's like seeing Mahendra Singh Dhoni uh, when he really, really entered. Uh, the Indian cricket scene uh, with his, all his aggressive batting exploits and that's what uh, Saurabh Tiwari is also capable of. And then we have Ravindra Jadeja. Now Ravindra Jadeja has been a big question mark as far as batting is concerned. Bowling, yes, he has been doing well. Batting, what is he going to do with his batting? Has he improved? Has he, if he's going to really contribute to the bat, he would hold his place in the team. And R. Ashwin, who has been having three tremendous IPLs and now he is slowly but surely entering into the Indian 
a scheme of things internationally and Ashwin let me tell you his carom ball he has perfected it and well he is not a person who is afraid to bowl in the power place and Dhoni knows how to use Ashwin in the power place and he has always been delivering the goods for Dhoni in the for the Chennai Super Kings Pravin Kumar uh, well Pravin Kumar normally swings the ball very well gets the um, gets a breakthrough he has uh, tremendous variations Ashish Nera is a much improved bowler uh, forming the uh, fulcrum of the bowling attack Ashish Nera also gets the wickets uh, and also Munaf Patel another economical bowler and also uh, hunts for a lot of wickets there so that is as far as the Indian team is concerned it's, it's an young blood and we are going to see what is going to happen tomorrow at Kochi in the first 20 international as far as India is concerned as far as Australia is concerned the explosive opener David Warner is back so that is going to really really strengthen them strengthen them a great deal no doubt about that David Warner is raring to go Tim Payne the wicketkeeper should be definitely opening up let me just speak about this Michael Clark who had a very very I thought Australia Australia losing the series uh, you know Michael Clark is such a good player one if one would have really uh, listened to Ian Chappell's comments I really really agree with him he said that Michael Clark was a big blow for uh, Australia that he really didn't take off at all because he's one of the best players of spin and well he couldn't really take off so that was very sad for Australia but Michael Clark is the captain now of this one day uh, team whether he could change the fortunes tomorrow and not only for himself and also for his team that remains to be seen and then uh, we have uh, Sean Marsh or whether it is going to be Sean Marsh is going to take the place or it's going to be Callum Ferguson Callum Ferguson is a good fielder but I think Sean Marsh would take his place he's also a very wonderful fielder and also um, uh, you know he, he has always done well in one day cricket uh, Sean Marsh uh, Michael Hussey one of the reliable players from Australia uh, really held a uh, hold the, he would be holding the innings he will be also coming up with the big shots later on in the innings Cameron White such a good hitter of the ball off late he has proved what a what a wonderful all-rounder he has been for Australia in one day cricket and Steve Smith another exciting all-rounder to come from Australia a batting bowling fielding you name it he's there if the ball is in the air he's there to pluck it if the ball is uh, is going to be uh, driven through the ground he's there to really dive and catch it is well he's batting he can hit the ball the balling well he's a is a wonderful right arm leg spinner he has shown a lot of promise James Hopes another chipping type of uh, uh, a person who does uh, all the three departments of the game he can contribute Nathan Horitz the right arm spinner couldn't have very well in the test matches was being a bit uh, criticized and a lot of things were happening but Nathan Horitz I thought is a very good one day baller too uh, and then the bowling then we come to the bowling yes the bowling resources are not so uh, strong uh, there's no Mitchell Johnson they're all been rested so as I said it's an even Stevens thing uh, they have the young Australia have the youngsters India have the youngsters so it's going to be a battle of angsters as far as this one day international series is concerned with all the uh, big uh, big wigs uh, being rested Nathan Horace then Clinton McKay has been very very impressive in all the one day matches he has been played whether it is Pakistan India everywhere he has done well so he would be uh, really really uh, taking this uh, chance with both hands uh, Mitchell Stark could play because if Dougie Bollinger is not there Mitchell Stark could well make his debut tomorrow and he has been doing well for Australia so well uh, the only thing that dear cricket fans uh, one would notice here uh, India has not chased well against Australia but well uh, well if uh, India uh, as I said it's a battle of the angsters coming to the fore uh, that there's a reserve strength of Australia there's a reserve strength of India uh, whichever a team is going to win uh, well we can say the reserve talent has won them the match so let's watch it tomorrow at Kochi in the first one day internationals that's it dear cricket fans for cricket happenings this is Ram signing off thank you